Hey guys, Retro Gaming Maniac here, and in this video, um, I just wanted to give you my thoughts about the Nintendo Switch. Not just my thoughts, but also my concerns I have with the Switch, as well as some things I'm excited about. Now, I know everybody's already done a video like this, but I figured I'd go ahead and give my two cents on it as well. I'm going to go ahead and get the good things out of the way first, and after that, we'll go over the things that I have some concerns about. Uh, first up is the $299 price point. Um, I think it's a fair price point. This will probably be the first Nintendo system I've bought in a while uh, when it comes to their more recent stuff. I did not buy the Wii when it first came out. I didn't buy a Wii U. But the Switch, mostly because of its portability, portability aspect, is going to be something that I'm going to be interested in. So at $299, I think that's fair. Um, you consider the prices of smartphones these days at $700, $800, and considering all the things that this system can do, play games, everything, I think $299 is a good price. Uh, next up is the release date. I think March 3rd is good. It's you know right around the corner. It gives plenty of people time to uh, hopefully save up some money for it and uh, you know just get hyped for it. Another thing I'm really happy about is that this system will be region free. So um, that's something I love about the Sony uh, Sony systems, PS3 and PS4, is you know if I see a game I like, I can go and import it, and it'll work just fine on my system. So I really like the fact that it's region free, because um, especially when it comes to Nintendo, they get a lot of stuff that we do not get. Um, so if you see a cool Japanese game, uh, you can just import it and it'll work fine. Now hopefully you can read Japanese, but uh, that's another thing. Uh, okay, now. There's a few more things I like about the Switch. I like um, I like the idea. The idea itself is not new. It's uh, you know we've seen gaming tablets that have the same functionality for the most part. Um, so I do like the portable aspect. Like I said earlier, that's going to be my main reason for getting this thing. I am curious curious as to see how heavy it is and how big it actually is. Like how big and bulky when you actually have it out and about. Um, so I'm, I'm, I need to get a hands-on feel for it and see um, what that's going to be like. But here's a few concerns I have with the Switch, and some of them are pretty serious concerns. Um, first off, the Switch is only going to ship with a 32 gigs of um, storage, memory storage. Uh, so a 32 gig SD card. And considering how cheap SD cards are today, there's no reason why Nintendo could especially for $299, no reason why they could not put in at least a, you know, 128 gigabyte or or more. I mean, really, 32 gigs, what is that? I mean, that's more than some PlayStation games. And I do realize that the, um, the games that's going to be for the Switch are not going to be on the same level as the PS4 and Xbox One, which leads me to my next concern. The Switch looks to be only slightly more powerful than the Wii U, um, especially when I saw the Zelda Wii U and uh, the Switch versions of, you know, uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. There was not that big of a difference, really, graphically. I mean, there's a little bit, but I mean, I know that's a launch title, so. But still, I think the system is very underpowered, and I think Nintendo has shot themselves in the foot again because. It's kind of what they did with the Wii U. The Wii U is only slightly more powerful than the PS3 and 360, and developers pretty much, you know, just like they stopped making games for the PS3 and 360 for the most part, I mean, nobody wanted to support the Wii U, not only because of that, but also, you know, the low number of sales the Wii U had. So that's a problem I'm worried about with the Switch, is that it's going to be underpowered. And, I mean, they're like, oh, you know, we have Skyrim. I was like, okay, but Skyrim came out a while back. I mean, it's been out for a while. So, I mean, it's cool playing Skyrim on the go, but um, I do have some current concerns with that. Uh, so, you know, system being underpowered, only shipping with 32 gigs. Now, like I said, they are cheap, so you can just throw... Hopefully, they don't put a limit as to, like, how big of a memory card you can put in there, because that would really suck. Um, another issue I have is the launch games coming for this system. Now, you do have that one really good launch game, you know, Zelda Breath of the Wild, that's 
that's really good. That's going to be a system seller. Um, but looking at the other games that are shipping with it, I mean, one of them looks kind of gimmicky, and the others, I mean, I could care less about, really. And uh, now the Switch is going to have a... Hopefully, I hope they make it like the PSN Network and Xbox Live, but they're going to have their own little online service. Which, it's funny that we're just now talking about online service for the Wii. I mean, for the, not the Wii, the Switch. Because, I mean, this is something that Nintendo should have had a long time ago. I mean, uh, PSN came out back in, what was it, 2006, 2007? And the Wii, not the Wii, I keep saying the Wii. The Switch is just now going to be getting a online service. Supposedly, I'm still kind of skeptical as to what that service will be like and if it's actually going to be, you know, something worth paying for. Because, yes, you are going to have to pay for it now. Um, my main concern with the Switch, and this one is a pretty big one, is the battery and the fact that the battery from what I've been told and what I've been reading is non-removable you cannot take the battery out let's say you know you've had your switch for a year and the battery you know screws up you're gonna have to send that system in um, just to get a new battery you can't just you know pop the back cover off put a new battery in like you can a cell phone or at least most cell phones and the system the way the switch works is it sits into a dock and I guess, you know, the video input or output activates and it goes to your TV. And from what I understand, when the switch is in the dock, it's always charging. So your switch is always going to be charged. You know, that's, that's great. It's very handy. Um, it's convenient. The problem with that is, is when you have a, a system that's constantly charging all the time, you take it out, you're playing it, you put it back in, you're going to play it some more, it's charging. That battery which they said battery life wise you're only going to get two to six hours depending on gameplay and usually they it's not going to be six hours I mean if you try to play Zelda Breath of the Wild on that thing I bet you'd be lucky to get two hours I mean for that thing would be completely useless and my concern comes from the non-replaceable battery and the constant charging of the system you go in and out of the dock charging over and over and over that two to six hour battery life after one year it's going to be a half hour that you'll be able to pull that sucker out and it's going to actually function I, I guarantee you I mean I could be wrong but unless they've really came up with a great battery that you know doesn't um, degrade so fast from I mean cell phone batteries still do it I don't know that, that switch is going to become not so portable and you're going to have to leave it in its dock until you decide to send it off to Nintendo and that's one of my main concerns um, the battery uh, I wish they would have made it replaceable so you can just you know order a new battery um, plus I mean if you're on the go you don't want to have to bring the charger you can just charge up a battery home and bring it with you and then swap it out when you need to but the constant charging I think the battery it is going to degrade and after short, I mean, even as short as a year you're gonna get you're not gonna get anywhere close to that two to six hour battery life especially when you're playing any kind of game out of its dock um, so that's a big concern for me other than that there's not too many other things I'm worried about with the system um, obviously it's gonna be a portable uh, device which means you know you could easily drop it or break it hopefully they have some kind of protection plan you can get you know through Nintendo like a two-year plan where if you drop it or something you play it you know you pay a little extra they'll replace it hopefully something like that um, I'm hoping it has some kind of water resistance uh, I mean you don't wanna when you're taking stuff with you on the go anything can happen you can splash your drink on it on accident so there's a few concerns I have I am excited about it but to be honest I'm either gonna go out and buy it when it first comes out or I'm going to wait until I see how other people switch battery lives are and see if they come out with any revisions of the system like you know uh, right after to see okay this is a major problem we need to you know come out with a different you know revised version of the system but that is uh, those are my main concerns at this point um, like I said, I like the price tag, the launch date, the uh, Zelda is the only game I'm really excited about right now. Um, I like that it's region free, but the storage, the non-replaceable battery, the I'm skeptical with the online service that's coming now, and the launch games look pretty 
it's they're pretty weak if you ask me but what do you guys think um, are you excited about the switch you gonna get it on launch day what are your concerns um, do you share the same concerns I do and what do you think they're gonna do with the battery and what do you think the battery um, how do you think the battery is going to perform you think after a year like I do it's just gonna be total crap uh, systems gonna be shutting off once it gets down to a certain percentage um, anyways, you know, thank you guys for watching and uh, let me know what you think. We'll see you guys later.